Hey guys, so Shepard's surgery is over and uh, good news, long story short, he did really well. The surgery couldn't have gone any better and we were just so pleased with the outcome. I know a lot of people have you been asking about the details and stuff and so we're just going to make this little video just to kind of give you a recap of, of the surgery, the experience and um, what happened um, and his recovery. First day we went to his pre-op appointment and it was a cold day. Hey guys, so it is a very cold morning here in Oklahoma. Um, we are on our way to Sh yeah, Shepherd's. It's 15 degrees. It's 15 degrees is what the car says. We're on our way to Shepherd's pre-op appointment. Um, and then it's gonna be like a, if anything like last time, it's gonna be an all day thing. And we are going to find out if he is healthy enough to have his surgery. So fingers crossed that um, that we'll be able to we'll be able to follow through and continue on this process and just get this, put it behind us so we can move on with our lives. So we were there all day talking to doctors and meetings and doing tests. The first time we did the pre-op appointment back in October, he uh, was determined that he was too sick. He had like a virus. Um, and so they had to postpone the surgery. But we had kept him at home, seriously, like two weeks prior, like quarantined him because we didn't want to risk it. So we were hoping all of our quarantining efforts would have paid off. When we found out that yes, we would be doing surgery the next day, um, we met with the surgeons about like four or five um, to kind of just discuss the plan of action and we um, were to be at the hospital at 4.30 the next morning. Um, Shepard couldn't have anything to eat past 10 p.m. that night or drink. I think it's 5.30, uh, but yeah. Um, the night before his surgery, it was really cute. We had these just sweet moments between Savannah and Shepard and um, you, you could tell like the seriousness of the situation was kind of weighing on Savannah, but they were just being so sweet. Um, and then the next morning we had woke up and we had asked a lot of our friends and family to wear yellow. Slowly throughout the morning and throughout the day we were getting posts on Facebook and Instagram and we're getting texts um, just from people wearing yellow. No, we had pictures of uh, over a hundred people but then so many other people have like told me, oh I wore yellow but I didn't send you a picture. Right. So first we want to say thank you to everyone yes. that wore yellow. That was just so cool and it made us feel good and later on when we put the pictures up in Shepard's room it just made him feel so special. It made us feel so supported. It made him feel so supported and uh, so loved and we just thank everyone. That was so yeah, sweet was of you to so just cool. do that. And so that, that morning my mom and my grandparents had come by and it was a tense and uh, stressful time. Shepard was being sweet and um, we were just trying to get all of our kisses and hugs out that we could and then we sent him off all right i just uh put saxon uh in front of a tv for a second so we can finish this video it was the morning of um we sent shepherd away it was tearful we were stressed um because we knew what he was about to go through i don't think he really understood or knew um, but by the time that um, we watched them wheel him away he was pretty sedated so i don't think he remembers that moment there's this really cool app ease it's an app called ease that they used to give us updates while we were in the waiting room. Um, and so every 30 minutes or so, we'd get an update. Um, and so we'd share those updates on social media with um, all of our friends and family. And so it was, it was really convenient that we could just have immediate updates from the surgery room. He did well, uh, they closed him up, we um, took him into the room, and after a few hours, we got to go in and see him. Um, and it was kind of scary, because I mean, I, I had um, kind of uh, built myself up because I knew from the last time you go in and there's all these wires and all these things he's hooked up to and so it was uh it was still shocking even though we we uh we had anticipated something like that to me it was a relief because he was awake so, and so i was like expecting him to be sedated for like days upon days because that's how he was as a baby and he was like awake and i'm like, like his cry was like the best cry in the world well, yeah i was kind of it made me scared cry, it made me scared to cry. see him awake uh, because you could see the pain you can see him wincing and um there was one moment where they were um the, every i think hour they clear out the they clear out the chest tubes by like squeegeeing um the the stuff out um and I, I was holding his hand and it was really painful to him because it was just adjusting the pressure in his chest as they were doing that and he was trying to squirm and it i just i felt so bad and i uh, i started blacking out i had to sit down and the nurse was like in the middle of this thing and she had to stop what she was doing and tend to me she had someone go out and get me some uh, a drink and crackers and stuff and that helped but I, it was just um it was a long stressful day um, it's kind of embarrassing that I, the nurse had to take care of me when she should have been taking care of Shepard, but uh, she said that happens often. But yeah, that first day, it was it was just, it was hard to get, get through just because you, you could tell how much pain he was in. They were trying to get him to eat and stuff, and he did eat well that first night. He ate some mac and cheese, um, which was really good. Um, Yeah. 
had a popsicle too. Whitney, our friend, uh, fed him a popsicle, which was, um, which was really great, and that was awesome. Some, sometime the next, um, for the next like 12 hours, maybe that night, he kind of started taking a turn for the worse and started like vomiting a lot. And there, after that, for the next probably 48 hours, it was just really hard to get him to hold the food down. Um, and he would vomit a lot. And imagine vomiting after heart surgery, just the pr like uh, having to sit up and the pressure on your chest and just, uh, even coughing hurts. So imagine vomiting. So we could just see it was just so painful for him. And I, I just, ugh, it was, I, I still, um, hurt, it hurts me to talk about it. After the first day, he, we had like a cot set up in that first room and I was sitting on it. And so he was saying like, I want to be on mommy and daddy's bed. I want to be on mommy and daddy's bed is what he was like calling it. And it was so cute because he'd kind of been like awake all night, like in pain. And he got up and uh, the physical therapist assisted him in helping like walk over to that cot. And it was like, it was, well, it felt so good because I was finally actually like able to like really hold him and like um, squeeze on him. And then he like immediately went to sleep and slept. Like that was probably for the, at least for the first couple of days, that was like the best sleep he got. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, he didn't get much like sleep there. that first night because of the vomiting and the pain. And so, so. I think he was like finally comforted by being in his mother's arms. Yeah, so it was very comforting to me too. Later on, that um, first day after surgery, he got moved to um, kind of like the lesser ICU. There's like the heart ICU the regular ICU and then like a room and that's like where you go, or the floor they call it, and that's where you go before home. Well, so he got moved to that kind of like less intensive ICU and they just redid it in July, or it opened in July and oh, I mean, it was nicer than like most hotels I've stayed at was, and I'm not kidding. It, incredible. it was wonderful and just to think about like, the, the thought that went in for the families that have children there is it was just absolutely impeccable and so amazing and i i was i was so impressed on friday they had taken his chest tube one of his chest tubes out so the drainage tubes um, which those were causing him a lot of discomfort and then um, he was also taken off of a lot of medications which is as caroline said why he was moved down to the floor under which was really great it was, it was sooner than what we'd anticipated and it was just um, awesome news all the way around we were really excited to get into that new room too, because yeah, we had our own TV. Shepard had a big TV, and it was just it was just much more comfortable. Um, we had our own, we could use the bathroom. The other room we had to leave to you use the bathroom. You could have food in. Again, he was still having issues then, but not. It, he was good enough to be sent down there, but he was still in pain. He was still throwing up, not able to hold food down. But the nurses determined that he was well enough to continue moving on. And it was so cute <clears throat> on um, the day whenever I could just like tell, like he had kind of had a rough day and then I came for like my, my, my night shift and I was like, like we need to like turn this around. And so I literally did like our nighttime routine with him to tr just like in the order of things that we kind of do things at home. And I mean, he like slept so good that night and I felt like it was like a really good night. And then I felt like he really started to take a turn. And so I could just tell in that routine, like it just, he was like starting to feel better, which was great. So they ended up taking the test tubes out that next morning, which I think is Sunday morning. Um, and I feel like that made a big difference. Around that time is when you started like really doing better. He like walked all the way around the intensive care, just like kept going and was so happy. He was like, sm before he Was like some, before he like did not want to walk and didn't even want to sit up and he was like so happy to be trying to eat too mm -hmm. sunday was the day everything turned around hey guys we are here in okay. shepherd's hospital room oh you did it's sunday his surgery is wednesday i feel like today is the first day he's feeling better and it's the first day we actually feel comfortable just vlogging because i just i mean i just didn't want to i just wanted to be by his side and help him when he's hurting and We'll, we'll give a recap later of everything that's going on. But I just wanted to show you um, the decorations we put up. So on Wednesday, um, if you saw our last video about Shepard, we asked everyone to wear yellow during the day of his surgery, just to like a silent way to show support and honor him. Well, um, we, um, a lot of people sent us pictures and we printed them off and we've been putting them up all over his, his room and he's just enjoyed seeing them. We have them up on the TV screen as well. It just turned uh, off. It just turned off, but we have a little screensaver. Um, and so, yeah, he's yeah, just been enjoying them so much. And so I, I just love to seeing them and he's loved like showing them to people who come in. Yeah, show him all of his friends that wore yellow for him and he loves the color yellow. So 
It's just been really happy. And this hospital room, it's it was it's this whole wing on the sixth floor here at Children's has been remodeled. Um, and it's just so nice. Um, I wanted to give you a little tour of it as well. You can customize the lights and check this out. We picked yellow lights, of and course. Yeah, and here's Shepard. How are you feeling, Shepard? Oh, my mommy, mommy, go baby. <laughs> He's feeling so much better. He's sitting up, talking, baby. joking. Um, but yeah, check out this room. Let's look. We have all these awesome signs from all of his friends at school, and then they made little cards. And then Aunt Bob's class made him this too. So cute. And I love this. Be brave. Like on this slide. <laughs> and then here's another one from Shepard's class. All of his friends wrote him special notes. So sweet. That's Savannah's teacher and that's Savannah. So you can tell Shepard's been feeling better because look, he's just being silly and joking and being so joking. He was joking. Uh, we're all so happy right now. Yeah. He's at the doctor. And um, so the cleaning lady was just here cleaning the room and he was joking with her and told her to not forget the dog poop. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. And he's made friends with her. And so he got this book about Heart Warriors, which is such a cute little book. And he made me read it to her, which is kind of funny. He's like, loves it. He's so cute. You wanna read Anna Elsa book? Okay, hey, I brought you some toys to play with too. Some Play-Doh? Halloween Play-Doh. Halloween Play-Doh? Yeah, that's right. It's fall Play-Doh. But yeah, we're just so happy, so thank you. Yeah, Sunday, um, we started getting visitors as well, um, which which we didn't plan it that way, but it was just timed perfectly. A lot of visitors started coming on Sunday and that was when he was feeling better. So it was just great. He saw his teacher from school, saw my grandparents, saw some cousins. Um, and by the end of that day, they had moved him down to the floor, which is the next step to going home. Shepard's doing so well, we're about to transfer rooms. It's so exciting. We have moved into the closet. Who cares though? We're in a new room. We're one step closer to getting home. We can't wait. So, um, Shepard had some visitors. His teacher, Miss Marilyn, came, and she brought him this cool little trailer. And where are the horses? They fell down. Uh, of course he did. Shepard loved it. He was so happy to see Miss Marilyn. Then he had some more family come. It was so sweet to see him interacting with them. Just to see him happy. He is so, so happy right now. Mm -hmm. And at the floor, siblings can come. So it was Savannah and Shepard's first time to see him, which was... They're Saxons. Was, I'm sorry, it was Savannah <laughs> and Saxons, first time to see him, which it was so sweet, and Savannah was just so adorable. When she saw him, her eyes teared up, and she was making excuses for it, but um, I, you can just tell. It, it, the whole weight of the situation hit her completely um, when she saw him, and um, she was so sweet and talking so gentle to him, and it was just, it was adorable. I love how much... Um, although they fight all the time, I love how much that the, our kids love each other. Shepard. Shepard. Shepard, look who came to see you. Shepard. Look. Shepard, look who it is. Hi. I can't see Shepard. Oh, it's Savannah and... Hi, Shepard. Hey. Shepard, my dog, look for you. It's Paw Patrol. Awesome. Look. Look, Shepard. See what Savannah got you? You want to sit up? You want to sit up? <laughs> what are you, you growling? <laughs> You're being silly. Silly boy. Here. Oh, wow. Get a growl. <laughs> Where'd like, where my book go? He said, "Say thank you for the book, Savannah." Read it to him. Read it to him. I actually don't know what that says. Okay. Now I'm gonna Oh wow! Look. Cool. I love this Yeah, that's awesome. Until he leaves, just like precautionary. He's reading by himself. That's I know. <laughs> Oh, look at us. We are having a Paw Patrol pizza party, aren't we, Shet? We weren't even in there 
24 hours, were we? No, so not even 24 hours. Like the next morning, Blake had spent that night and then I showed up that morning and Blake went home and um, the nurse came in and it was like my first time to see her and I said, so what are we still doing here? And she was like, I don't know. And so she got on the phone and talked to the doctor and um, yeah, he came in and I mean like not even an hour and a half later, they were like, bye. Yeah. Like and yeah, it was like, it was so amazing. We were like, could not believe it. Okay, so it's Monday, November 18th, five days after Shepard's surgery, and it's one o'clock, and we just got the go-ahead that we are being discharged today. And so Blake ran, ran home, like not anticipating that we would be discharged, but Shepard's just doing so well. He um, walked all around the floor, and um, it was so funny, he was looking for babies. He heard babies crying and was like looking for them, and it was so cute. So just taking a little nap. And I ordered him pizza, and so hopefully, pretty soon we'll get to go home. When are you gonna go home? When are you going home, Dad? Today? today? Are you going home today? Pizza house. Pizza house? Ooh, that would be fun to play with. A pizza house. Are you about to go home? Do you want to go home? So excited. Oh, so excited. Whoa, cool. Yeah. I want to that. So he went home five days after heart surgery, which was incredible. And it was just so amazing. It was just it's such a blessing um, how quickly he recovered and how well he, he's just doing so well right now. I would say he's better than his original self. Despite the fact that he did get to come home five days after, I felt it was like a little bit bittersweet to us because we have um, experienced an extended hospital stay before. And so our hearts just really go out to the families who, um, you know, that's like the reality for them because it has been for us before. Right. And so that just like, you know, weighed on us some. It's like, it's bittersweet the only yeah, way I it, could say it. It helps us understand um, how um, fortunate we are, but we do, we want, we always want to keep aware that there are so many babies that, um, and children that have different outcomes and it's a lot worse, it's a lot harder of a recovery. And so um, we, our heart goes out to them and um, we, we just feel so fortunate that um, it ended up so well for Shepard. But yeah, that's a basically the story of Shepard's heart surgery, um, his second heart surgery. Um, we, again, thank everyone for all of your prayers, all of your support, for wearing yellow. Um, it's just, it means the world to us. Yay! Okay! Are we going home? Oh my Yay. goodness, he, Shepard, your hard work has got you to go home after only five days. That is incredible, Shepard. We're because, so proud of you. It's because you worked so hard and you did, and you took all your medicine and you listened to us and you fought and you got up and walked when you didn't want to. And I'm so proud of you, Shepard. I'm just so proud. You went on the elevator too, huh? We found it up. Yeah. We're so happy. <laughs> was that fun? Cool. Were you, are you ready to go home and see Samantha and, Sh and Saxon? And Mama. And Mama. And yeah. Boom and Sawyer. And Boom and Sawyer. <laughs> you silly. I love you. Help! The balloon has gotten stuck we on the We're trying to give him some fresh air and the balloon guy is like hanging Oh no! Out. Help! I wonder if it's going to survive. Here we are. We're home. Daddy! Yay! We're exercising. We're walking around the house. Does it feel good to get outside? Well, for so long we've just been anticipating his surgery and just, it's always been in the back of our mind. But now that that's over with, it's like we're just anticipating and looking forward to his childhood at this point, which is awesome. It's such a good feeling. He's tired from exercising.